Uh, this is just a quick rundown of my 75 gallon tank here. Uh, for me personally, I can't even begin to tell you enough how important it is to have as much filtration as you can possibly fit in a tank. You know, I mean, you don't have to overdo it, but you can see right there I've got my uh, Penguin 350. That's a bio filter. It's got two wheels and it comes with uh, two filter cartridges, but there's slots in there to put extra, so I went ahead and put two more in there. It's got four cartridges in it. Just more room for the bio media to grow on, the bacteria and stuff. Underneath here, I've got the Fluval 406 canister filter, which was the biggest one I could get for a tank like this. And if you see, I've got the power head pointed in the corner, kind of, so that the current doesn't upset my angelfish too much. And they seem to like it. Now you see the bubbles coming up behind the drifter wood there. Walk around the back here, look in the side, show you. So I've got a large sponge filter hiding back there. And that's, you know, that's just backup. That's there just to be there for extra filtration. Plus, if I ever want to set up a 20 or 30 or 40 gallon tank out of the blue, all of a sudden, I've got a cycle filter to throw in it. But anyway. That's just me. That's how I like to do it. I'm a firm believer in uh, redundancy in the aquarium as far as filtration goes. And in my opinion, you can never have too much.